And I really want you to think about the consistency or the lack thereof in Beto's political positioning here. Listen to Beto O'Rourke talking about semi-automatic long guns. We allow people in this country to buy weapons that were designed, engineered, and sold to the United States military for the express purpose of killing people as effectively as possible in as great a number as possible. And an AR-15 gunshot wound, that high-impact, high-velocity round, will blow a hole through your back the size of an orange. You will bleed to death before anybody can get to you and save your life because that's exactly what it was designed to do, to keep that enemy soldier down and not claim the life of one of our own. Now, if you own an AR-15, keep it. Continue to use it responsibly and safely. I just don't think that we need to sell any more weapons of war into this public... Okay, so, okay, so there's all this stuff that he got wrong, right, about the uh, design and the history of the AR-15, about uh, AR-15s blowing orange-sized holes in, in people. So there's, there's that issue, right? But after, again, trying to scare the bejesus out of his audience about the most commonly sold rifle in America today, what did he say? Uh, this is a weapon of war. It was designed to kill as many people as possible. Keep them. What? Well, I'm sorry. What? No, nobody should be able to have these rifles. They, they're just, you know, they're, they're, they're horrible, horrible things. But eh, if you got them, keep them. That makes no sense. From a gun control perspective, that makes no sense. If these are such dangerous weapons of war, <laughs> you really, you're, you're really cool with nine million Americans or ten million Americans or however many millions of Americans there are. I'm being conservative here. Keeping their semi-automatic firearms? Keeping their semi-automatic rifles? I don't think you are. I really don't. Because uh, it kind of sounds like to me you think they're too dangerous for people to own.